And now to our segment for the culture, where we highlight topics that matter in communities of color across the Charlotte area. According to the U.S. Department of Education, more than 85 percent of America's black male students are not proficient in reading. Wake Up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw introduces us to a local pastor who's helping change that. The barbershop is probably um, as important to the African-American community as the church because you go in, you get the news, you get different perspectives. Civil Rights Act, July 2, Freedom, Equality, Justice. Now is also a place to grab a good book thanks to this teacher and preacher, C.T. Kirk, creator of Books and Barbershops. When I was doing student teaching, um, a teacher that was training me was telling me about the low literacy amongst African-American boys. King Cuts in Rock Hill was the first barbershop to agree to Pastor Kirk's idea. The owner, Solomon, was amazed at how excited his clients were to pick up a book while waiting to get their hair cut. To see a parent actually reading to their children, you know, it's like TV or movie. Demonstrators walked in. And to actually see it, it was amazing. So I was so happy that he chose me to be the first barbershop. And then kept the black. Little Julian spends two hours once a week in the barbershop with his dad. Each visit, he grabs his favorite book. He's only in the third grade and is now reading at a higher level. It makes me feel good. And why is that? Because I like reading. Over the last three years, Pastor Kirk has expanded his libraries to 20 more barbershops, three hair salons, and even four laundromats, making him the first in the area to start this initiative. Pastor C.T. Kirk, an unsung hero who is black history in the making. A lot of times fathers are sitting down with their own children, they're going over to picture books, and they're reading together. So it's actually bringing families together, as well as promoting literacy in our community. They were tired of being... I'm Billie Jean Shaw, and that's for the culture.